Mrs. Pretty, school librarian, here today to share a book I just read, Small Spaces, by Catherine Arden. The book reads, When the mist rises and a smiling man comes walking, you must avoid large places at night. Keep to small. Ollie, our main character, meets a woman who is trying to destroy a book, a small, little, 100-page book. But instead of it being destroyed and lost forever, Ollie steals it from her and begins to read it. So now we have a book within a book. The author is so descriptive in her writing, I feel like I'm there and living the story too. And every time Ollie opens that creepy book, I can barely stand it and want to yell at her to shut that book. In the middle of all this, we learn about an old local ghost story the teacher tells the class. The story continues with, Mr. Eaton looks torn. I wouldn't say there are ghosts, he said. Not exactly. Mr. Eaton hesitated. Back in the 1800s, there were two brothers who worked in the field. They used to go about with the owner's daughter. She married the older brother. They all lived on the farm. But one night, the older brother disappeared. Mr. Eaton continued, just gone, vanished, no trace. That was when the rumors of hauntings started. Rustling in the corn, voices, footsteps without feet. They said the two brothers didn't lie quiet. Legend says now that the woman haunts the farm too, looking for her husband and her brother-in-law. The teacher continues with more spooky events to have happened over the years until he finally says, the weird thing is this, they never found any bodies. Now Ollie and Brian and the rest of the class are on a field trip to this very same farm. A farm full of creepy scarecrows. A farm where things just aren't right. A farm where they'll be lucky to get out alive because now it's getting late and night is coming. The school bus is broken down and so what should you do? Slowly, the bus driver stood up. Best get moved at nightfall. They'll come for the rest of you. Then he smiled. If you're looking for a creepy story, try this one. The suspense is just right. I couldn't put it down, but it also creeped me out enough that I wasn't able to read it in the dark. And that is Small Spaces by Katherine Arden.